Sanders is, uh, he's formally supportive of Israel. It's clearly not a big item on his agenda, and he would prefer to avoid it if he can. He comes from a pretty progressive family, and his brother, uh, I guess his brother's name is Larry, is even a supporter of BDS, the boys got the investment sanctions issue. So, you know, my guess is Sanders knows the truth, and for political reasons he can say it, and I kind of don't have a problem with that. Uh, I have a problem when you, you say more than you have to. But if you're going to say some, you know, bromides and cliches every once in a while so you can be spared yourself the wrath of the lunatic uh, Israel lobby, it's, in my book, it's okay. And I'm pretty certain that uh, uh, Sanders knows, so to speak, the real deal. Uh, but when you get to the, the mainstream of the Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton, Obama, you know, they've been a complete nightmare. And they're responsible for uh, all the crimes that are committed. They have full primary responsibility. If you take the case, for example, of Operation Cast Lead in 2008-9, uh, Israel made promiscuous use of the white phosphorus. Um, every white phosphorus show, every white phosphorus show that Human Rights Watch found in Gaza uh, they put out a report called Rain of Fire. Every white phosphorus show is made in the United States. Um, you take, that was cast lead in 2008-9. You take the case of um, Operation Protective Edge in July, August 2014. Uh, in the midst of this uh, horror, I mean, really, uh, Protective Edge was quantitatively and perhaps you might even say qualitatively already worse than cast lead. Just to take one example, in cast lead in 2008 9, 6,300 Palestinian homes were demolished. But in Protective Edge, it was 19,000. It was nearly, uh, it was three times as many homes were destroyed. And every day Obama said, he or one of his spokespeople said, in the midst of this carnage in which 19,000 homes were destroyed, um, 2,200 Palestinians were killed, of whom 1,600 were civilians, 550 were children. Every single day Obama came out and said the same thing, Israel has the right to protect itself. Israel has the right to protect itself by committing uh, death and destruction among the people of Gaza. The Israel thought it was just a joke. There were um, seven civilians killed in Israel, or seven. Uh, one was uh, a guest worker. Uh, so six civilians were killed, one of whom was a child. In the case of Gaza, it was 550. So it was 550 to 1. And all Obama had to say was Israel has the right to protect himself. He's a wretch, he's a monster in my opinion. Uh, smiling monster, but monster nonetheless. Totally without any content. Just a, uh, a narcissist. Every, every day now when you open up the paper, there's another story. Today, Obama, if you open the morning paper, Obama says we're going to keep juveniles out of solitary confinement. Well, that's great, uh, uh, Mr. Obama, but why did everything come in the last year? Because all he cares about, he has only one thing, all he cares about is his uh, legacy and his memoir. So his memoir is going to be filled with, oh, oh, he raised the minimum wage and he did this and he did that. Yeah, he did all of it in the last year. You know, um, and the same thing, in the case of Israel-Palestine, he's done nothing at all, all along, except cause the death and destruction of the people of Gaza.